Today on Cooking with Cutie, Cutie is preparing some meatball stir fry. Yep, meatball stir fry. Oh, I am so excited. These stir fry meatballs. I'm so excited. Mmm. About these meatballs stir fry today. Let's just get it going, okay? Have some, not just any kind of ground meat. Not just any kind of ground meat. I have some premium ground beef. Oh, premium ground beef. We got some good stuff. It's premium, y'all. Premium ground beef. These cannot help but be the best mm, meatballs. You know why? Because the pack said <laughs> they premium. And premium, we all know premium meat is good. It's of quality. Mm. Meatballs. You know why? Because the pack said <laughs> they premium. And premium, we all know premium meat is good. It's of quality. Yeah, quality beef. That's what they said. <laughs> Cutie did say That's what they said. Let's get started. I'm only going to add half a pack, adding two cloves of garlic, a fourth cup of sour cream. I'm adding one egg. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. In here, I have paprika, salt, pepper, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, oregano, Italian seasoning, Add whatever seasoning that you would like to yours and you just roll it around, just make a ball. And if you want yours larger, guess what? You can make them as large or as small as you like. You just gather some meat and you just roll it. Roll it. Start out rolling them small. Just continue to roll them small. That way you have the same size meatball and they'll cook. And they'll cook the same. Instead of some being large, taking longer. The smaller ones being small, taking less time. We got our meatballs. Got some breadcrumbs on here. I'm going to roll around the breadcrumbs and guess what? We're going to put them in the skillet. I'm just going to roll it around like this. Roll around, pick it up, whatever you want to do. As long as you got that breadcrumb on there, I hold that meatball together. And if you don't want to use breadcrumbs for yours, you don't have to. And we got our five without. So and our meatballs. Ground beef does what? Makes its own grease. So I have it on medium. If you need to turn yours down, then you turn yours down, whatever, whichever way you want to cook yours. Just as long as you don't burn them and you don't cook them fast. Okay? So I went back and added breadcrumbs to all of them because guess what? It looked good with the breadcrumbs. All right, I'm getting ready to take our meatballs out. The three fourth cup of carrots. And I had a pack of carrots and I just cut them up. I had a little. Creole to my carrots. Carrots took for like two minutes. My mix of peppers. And this is two cups. I mix peppers with onions. Mix all that in there together. And we're gonna mix this all together. And we'll cover it for five minutes. Add my broccoli. This was a cup of broccoli. You can add as much broccoli as you want. You don't have to add broccoli. It's only like two minutes. Then we're gonna add our meatballs in there. I have some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and some lemon juice. Add it. We're just gonna pull this over here. And it was uh, probably a little less than a half cup. I'm just gonna mix this in here like this. I'm covering it for five minutes. 
and after five minutes, we'll be ready to eat. Okay, our five minutes are up. Let's see what we have. Whoa. Whoa. Ready to eat. Ooh. Mm. 